All right, new season has started. I am struggling. I've played a mm, little less than 100 games, I think. Just trying out some old cards that or old decks that mix in Nebula. Having very mediocre success. I think I've hit 70 about 10 times, just boomeranging back and forth. So I went to Twitter, and I'm looking for decks that don't include Jeff, because I don't own Jeff yet. I will buy him the second he shoves up my shop. I've decided that the big bads... Uh, my final big bad Kang is not worth it considering how versatile uh, Jeff the Shark is. seems to be. He's just in every deck. We're going to try out some uh, some decks I find on Twitter that people are not using Jeff. Saw this one this morning. Um, streamer by the name of Owie. I'm not familiar with Owie. I'll show a clip of the tweet somewhere in editing. But uh, this is their deck. I'm going to take it for a spin for about 20 games. I've already have one under my belt. Uh, for four cubes against the dino deck that underestimated my turn six so i'm excited to see how it goes i like death i like black bolt and stature my problem with these kinds of decks is when you draw the cards out of order it goes south fast but uh you know maybe this uh this deck will uh, work out for me without further ado let's get into some games all right this is game one against river probably not a bot because they have the rock um, we do not have Killmonger in hand, so not too going out of my way here. I got Deathlock Bucky um, lined up here. Uh, Death obviously free now. This is probably a snap, assuming. I don't think I want a Sinister London Deathlock Bucky right now. Maybe that's a mistake. Uh, but this is kind of a mistake because now I worried about Hood getting going wild in places maybe I uh, save hood for like turn five opponent looking like they could be playing Galactus in which case I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do this so will get rid of their death and their null will exist but it will be Less points, so I'm just gonna stick it out. Nope, not Galactus. There's Null. There's Spider-Man. There's Death. There's Galactus. My opponent has nothing to play with here except Doc Ock. Which is good because hmm maybe he's looking to shang he's out all right we got galactus out of the way game two against bard bar sinister always a lane i think i struggle with Uh, I don't think they usually play armor, so we'll just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Bast here. Mm. Beast already bouncing somebody. It was a little early, but we'll see. Hunter Castle being obviously not great. Mm, this is going to be tough. Death is not going to get very cheap. Death will be... No, I guess this gets it down to six. So I can plunder Castle her. Oh, my opponent is playing Carnage. That's pretty good. Oh, and they're playing Thanos. Thanos bounce, huh? This gets me two deaths. To be determined if they can play... In the far lane. Um, this is just gonna sell out exactly what we're doing, but we don't really have a choice. So, Devil Dino. We do have Chavez for right.
So we can tie mid. We could play Thanos and we lose. This is tough. Shanging would be quite the soul read. This is very difficult. I'm gonna Chavez. I feel like he could Shang. Thanos is only three power. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, we are on to game three. Hamartage is pretty nice. Um, I don't think I want that many squirrels without Killmonger. It is tempting. He's going to hood. Feel pretty safe about playing my hood. you'll be okay I guess in a lane I'd rather use my mana efficiently my energy rather mm, might just do this now Can't moon girl. Is this good? This is eight power. So this gives me one power, but room. I don't think I need to play my demons now, although there's a pretty good chance he's going to want to potentially um, Professor X. He's really junking this up, huh? He does have another demon. But keeping him away from Professor Xing anything seems like a good strategy. Titania. So we can definitely win two lanes here. I think. Don't know how they win this, but I think they know they can't win this. So we'll just, yeah, they're going to retreat. Nebula. All right. Well, the problem with Nebula decks is they often play armor. So it feels pretty risky. I'm just going to go ahead and do this now. And if they don't armor, I'll Killmonger next turn. That's a cool card back. I guess that's free in the past. This feels snappable. I am going to snap. He's out. All right. Having no armor, having priority, having Killmonger, wiping his board. Pull Bucky into Carnage is the high roll. Pulling Carnage into nothing is the low roll. I think this is just the middle ground. If Black Bolt gets pulled, whatever. Yeah. All right, Jeff's gone. That's kind of nice. Swarm is played. So my opponent is playing Discard, which usually doesn't care about. Um, this could be a Dracula though, or Morbius. 
fighting this lane might be a lost cause. Unless... We get him to hyper commit. Forcing him to play... Dracula in the kiln. Knowing that we can probably beat... Or a Modoc, yeah. Now we just gotta beat a Modoc and a Chavez, which is eight and nine power, which I feel like we were set up to do decently. It's the wrong order. So we'll do this for now. Just heavily overcommit it. He wants to drop Dracula here. That's on him. I think what I'm gonna do is Killmonger. Yeah, like he needs Dracula to win that, and then I'm winning all the other lanes kind of easily. He doesn't have Swarm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna snap this. He's out. All right. That's five. 5-0. and oh. Space Throne, interesting. Don't have a storm for it. Uh, Squirrel Girl, I guess, is playable. We, now that we have Killmonger. Dream Dimension, also bad location for us. I think we're going to have to, like, high roll this. Mojo. Um... Giving him Hood Carnage... Feels bad. He's gonna snap? He'll Killmonger if he does that. Is he his priority? He's probably gonna play Armor over here. Alright, we'll leave. We'll leave that game. The, the, the snapping priority with Bucky... I'd stick around, but Dream Dimension is already such a, a negative thing for us, and Space Throne having to play around also kind of awkward, so... This is just best to uh, walk away. S a Cerebro fan? Um, I mean, this is kind of ideal, right? Maybe? Maybe not. Moon Girl. I guess we'll Carnage in the air. Just to keep Nebula down. Got a lot of cards. We don't have a lot of cards to kill. This is kind of crazy. We're gonna have a lot of... Man. Green Goblin? Cute. We do have Deathlock though. So that's a thing we can do. Cards with negative three power here. I think that'll keep her down. I think my opponent's gonna try to. He's gonna run out of room to Professor X. I'm gonna snap this. Yes, my negative zone is gonna be three, but I can also kill it. Okay. Extremely good for us. I'm gonna do this and do this. The thing is, deaths are gonna be free next turn. So he can Professor X's heart out. Already snapped. Don't care. Have priority. Really thinking about it here. Just knows he's completely buried. If he professors that, like he has no ability to like jam other lanes. Nebula getting zero value is hilarious. Mm -hmm, here comes Oppressor X.
Destroyer. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Didn't see that coming. All right, we are six and one. Got a couple of uh, actually in the bonus game too. So we are. This is by far the most successful deck I've run. Hala always a little nerve wracking. I think I'm okay with this. Venom is interesting. Killmonger on three. Opponent might be armoring this. No, I don't know. He's snapping. I'm just gonna do this for now. Gonna Jeff. That's fine. He does have Cryo. He does have ongoing. Save. I guess we want to save this, so maybe Storm. We do have Moon Girl copy what? Black Bolt and Demon? I'm just gonna give up flooding and do the same thing where we pressure all the lanes. The only thing is if he could try to kill this lane and ignore this. Jeff's three. I guess Moon Girl still doesn't win. Death goes here. Black Bolt. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Absolutely fine. This is a little scary. Enchantress. Rocket. All right, so Gamora. <clears throat> 12 power, 25. I need to get to 26 power here. 26. That's 14. This is pretty much, I think, what we need to do. Um, Magneto pulls nothing. Got him. All right. He snapped on me. That's right. Wow. Deck is just on fire. I like the squirrel girl on one to get priority. Yogurt, son. Hmm. This is a little risky, but whatever. The armored nebulas here. We're we're just out of this game. Yondu. My Carnage. Wolverine. Okay, so he's Galactus. The problem is, we don't have a lot of good Galactus counters. His death is going to be super free. Other than like, black bolting. Um... Uh, I guess I'll go here with this. Spread it out, because...
All right, so we have nothing in our hand. He's not going to play here. This would strip his death, but we're not going to be able to beat a null with this much power. Opponent, very clever, Galactus. Honorville does not work here. Jace, matchmaking sucks. Well, okay, my opponent's playing discard. This card is worthless to us. Um, so I'm not really afraid of armor then. So I'm gonna go for the Yandu Carnage play here. Colleen Jace is bot then. So we're probably not gonna play this out. Collector's gone, that's a nice collector. I thought death would be freer. Here we go. Uh, Chavez left. Okay. Well, the bot gave us eight games. Um, cards having one power here. It's kind of risky because I feel like he'd want a nebula there, but at the same time, I also want to armor there, but I want to stop the nebula, but I don't care because I have Killmonger, so I'll play Hood here. Can't. Uh, Krakoa, obviously scary. Do this for now. Armor bust this here. Okay, so this lane is now dead. Fantastic. We can focus on other lanes comfortably. Squirrel Girl Carnage. I don't want I don't want forges though. Squirrel Girl Carnage. Um so next turn Moon Girl. Give me extra demons. Mr. Fantastic. I guess we could be really punished by Killmonger and Krakoa. Alright, opponent's gonna snap. We're pretty much buried in this game anyway. Um, you know, playing it out is fine until he snaps, but losing this, having Krakoa go against us, knowing that he could play... Killmonger. He could play like two demons and Killmonger in the wrong order and just brick me. We're gonna leave. Try to go out on a win. I feel like the deck's been really strong. Bot match and then some unlucky RNG. Can't really do anything about armor into hood bucky lines. Oh, this is interesting. Actually, might play Medusa on two. Wakanda you don't like to see. But we can get around it. Bast. Oh my god, our hand is full of junk. I don't think Sunspot, we're really never skipping floating mana. I don't like competing here. Um, Killmonger can obviously knock out their one drop. Removing magic probably helps their game a little bit. Not sure what they're playing. Angel? Is this a bot? Why are people playing Angel? Oh, Triskelion. 
Alright, so... We do have the... We don't really have anything to copy with Moon Girl that's good. So we're going to take the Killmonger. Um, try to get death value line here. Our uh, endgame not looking great. One of playing Jubilee Bast. Maybe it's a negative deck? Hmm. Honestly, Captain Marvel might be a play here. All right, opponent's retreating. I think opponent might have been a negative deck that really just failed. We'll count that. Um, you know, our deck didn't do what it was supposed to do. My opponent's deck didn't do what it was supposed to do. But I think we hit our early game. Overall, I'm really impressed with this game, This the way this deck is curving out. Usually when I've played um, Destroy decks, it just feels like, I don't know, like you just don't hit the Bucky and you're, you're, you're dead to rights. But I don't know, for some reason, it feels like we have a good amount of disruption and, and destroy. I don't know, I, it's, it's the standard package. I guess maybe just the availability of playing one drops and not relying on like wave as your turn five play. Um, feels really good. I like the deck. I'm definitely going to keep playing it, but I'm going to edit this video down and share my results. I am pleasantly surprised because the Twitter has just been a sea of yeah, I got the infinite with this deck list and you're just like you played 80% bots at least and you can see I played roughly one bot um, and that's pretty much been my case. I think I've played I could probably count four or five bots I've played in, in hours of gameplay. So uh, meta feels good. It feels like everybody's playing lockdown stuff. So because I think this deck has such a, the ability to sneak into those lanes early, we're at an advantage. So that's my summary. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please consider liking using the thumbs up. Uh, you can subscribe. I'm kind of infrequent with the way I put out videos. I'm going to try to do more. Obviously, the more subscriptions I get, the more encouragement I have to uh, to share my results. Try to make this a series. Try to like pick some decks, play 15, 20 games, edit out the, the blips, and uh, go from there. Thanks for uh, sticking it out, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, YouTube.